What's the most important thing to know as a financial analyst or investor? In my opinion, it's the three statement model framework and how cash moves through it. And that's precisely what this course is focused on. The content starts where everyone new to finance and accounting should, with the accounting equation, and quickly evolves to include the balance sheet as a formal presentation of the accounting equation. Then to the income statement, which measures a company's success in selling goods and services. And finally, to the cash flow statement, which takes net income on the income statement and converts it into cash flow for the period. After that, we dive into important topics to demonstrate how economic activity is captured by the three financial statements and how this all translates into cash. Because cash is ultimately how you determine the value of a business. And without it, every business will fail. If you understand these concepts, the financial analysis and modeling exercises that follow will be much easier to digest. And you will be well on your way to building a skill set that will help you advance your career. We're also going to pull in case studies to create some familiarity with public filings. I'll walk you through how WeWork attempted to inflate their bottom line with a wild example of community-adjusted EBITDA, and explain why cash on the balance sheet doesn't always mean a company is healthy using Robinhood as an example. This course starts with the basics, but it moves fast. We're going to be pulling concepts forward using financial models to explain how it all works. And we're not only going to explore what the financial statements are, you'll also learn how to build them. If it feels overwhelming, give it time. The material will repeat important concepts in different contexts to make abstract concepts feel very familiar. I get asked frequently why finance is so hard. Here's the thing. It's not the math. If you look at the equations in most models, it's largely arithmetic. Just adding, subtracting, dividing, and multiplying with an occasional exponent thrown in. The challenge is that even at the introductory level, finance requires so much new vocabulary that learning it can feel like it involves a second language. Treat it that way and you will absorb this content so much faster. I have a post on learning that I recommend to anyone pursuing a new skill set. Give it a quick read before getting started. I think you'll find it motivating and inspiring. All right, team. Hope you enjoy the course. Feel free to get started.